If you've ever hit the limits of basic zaps, it's time to level up. Unlock advanced automation using multi-step zaps in Zapier and build smarter, scalable systems. In this video, we'll use tools like Formatter, Pass, and Loops to create a workflow that qualifies leads, personalizes emails, and logs everything in a lead tracker. First, we'll create a lead capture form using Zapier interfaces. You can build this from scratch, but to save time, you can also use one of Zapier's pre-built templates. Click on the orange globe icon on the right to open the Discover page. Under Use Cases, select Lead Management and choose the Lead Capture template. Once the template loads, head over to the Pages tab and click on the Contact Us page. Here, you can add, remove, or edit form fields based on the information that you want from our leads. For this app, we'll need two things. A Notes field where the lead lists the services that they're interested in, and a Budget field to help us qualify the lead. To make sure leads fill out the Notes field correctly, click on it and add instructions in the help text. Like, please list the services you're interested in, separated by commas. Great, from there, let's start our Zap. Our Zap will start when someone submits a lead through Zapier interfaces. So we'll need to set up Zapier interfaces as our trigger. Click on the Create button to start your Zap. Next, select the Trigger button and then type in Interfaces before selecting it on the dropdown. After that, select Form Submission Created on the dropdown and head over to the Configure tab so you can choose your lead capture form you had created in the previous step. Last, test your step to make sure everything's working. Great! Once the form is submitted, we store that information in a Zapier table. A Zapier table is like a database tool inside Zapier where you can store and manage information for your automation. Type in Zapier tables into the search bar and select it on the dropdown menu. Next, select Create Record as your action event. From there, you'll want to select your Trigger Apps data and add it into the Action Apps fields. You can also use text to customize your Zap even further. Awesome! Next, we'll want to clean up the data using Formatter by Zapier. The Zapier Formatter tool lets you change or format data, like turning dates into a different format or splitting up text. So it works better in your automation and looks clean and consistent. Select the plus button on the bottom of the screen and then type in Formatter before selecting it on the drop-down menu. We'll want to capitalize our text in this case, so we'll select text on the dropdown and then click continue. From there, select capitalize, click continue one more time, and then test your step. Sweet! Let's set up our path tool next to see if our lead qualifies. The path tool in Zapier lets you create different outcomes in your automation depending on the data, like sending one email if someone says yes and a different email if someone says no. In this case, if the budget is over $5,000, they're considered qualified, and we'll move them into a personalized email flow. If it's lower, we still follow up, but with a simpler message. Great! Let's start with our clients that have a budget over $5,000. Click the plus button and type in pass into the search bar before selecting on the dropdown menu. From there, we'll want to select our budget fields to only continue if that number is greater than 5,000. Test the step, and we can move on to our next action. For qualified leads, we can loop through the services they're selecting by using looping by Zapier. This breaks the selections into individual steps, so we can highlight each one individually in the email. If someone picked branding, video, or web design, we can create a line for each that says it's a featured service, personalizing the response. To do this, select Looping by Zapier from the dropdown and choose Create Loop from Text. Under Values, map the Notes field where your leads listed their services and select the text delimiter to a comma. After you continue and test the step, each loop iteration will now process one service at a time, letting us tailor our messaging around exactly what they had picked. Awesome! We'll then want to send our client an email mentioning the service that they used. To do this, click the plus button and then type in Gmail and select it on the dropdown. From there, we can select Send Email and log into our account. The first time we set up Gmail, we'll need to connect it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your email account. And don't worry, Zapier will only perform the actions you tell it to in a given Zap. Once we're logged in, we can click Continue and then set up our email. For the email title, I'll select Loop Iteration to grab the current keyword and then add the words Offerings so each subject line matches the services we're highlighting. Once I've done that, I can continue to fill out my Action Apps fields as I see fit. Great, let's do the other path side. For anyone with a budget below 5000 I'm going to send an email to them telling them our low budget services. Under Path B's path, select Gmail on the drop down menu one more time. Next, select Send Email, log into your account again, and then you can fill out the Trigger Apps data into the Action Apps fields. Awesome! We're all set up! Make sure you test the step and this app is ready to publish. And that's a wrap! You've just built a multi-step app that can capture leads, filter them, loop them through their responses, and send custom emails, all on autopilot. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on automation. See you in the next one!